All right, baby, we're back with another episode of the Commanders franchise, and that is not something we expected to see after these last few weeks. But Sam Howell, with the Offensive Player of the Year, or of, of the week, of the week, four to six total touchdowns. I cannot talk today. Um, but yeah, we're jumping into week five today, but first we have a tandem breakout on offense because a Mr. Terry McLaurin went absolute nuclear, and we're going to praise Mr. Johnny Wilson and uh, hopefully get him the ball today. So uh, I will see you guys in the game. All right, and the game is underway. Mario Williams uh, breaking out of a tackle there. I made a foolish mistake there and started the recording mid-play, so we are taking it out at the five. But that is all right, because we're going to run the ball with Antonio Gibson and get this offense going today. Chidobe Owuze with Superstar. And once again, it's just that uh, as soon as I press the sprint button, they just insta-shut off blocks. But regardless, we had a gain of five on the first carry of the day for um, Antonio Gibson. Looks like Chidobe Owuze will be playing the slot today. Gibson getting rumbling. Big gain. Picks up 15 on his second run of the day. Love to see it. And we're now out of, obviously, the shadow of our own end zone. And we can open up the playbook a little bit more. But we're going to look to keep it on the ground here. We're actually swinging out to Johnny Wilson, who gets put on the ground by Mike Hilton. Ah, uh, yeah, the big fella not able to make a move there. But all's well that ends well. Going to look to possibly hit up Terry deep here. And Terry McLaurin burns him off the line. Terry McLaurin coming off of a historic performance last week, and he's just going to take this short little lob to the house. Sam Howell gets on the board. Commanders strike first and strike fast, baby. It's it's nice to be able to move the ball. I feel like I've calmed down a little bit on offense, and I'm actually actually playing decently now. Um, McCrinsky, you got to get out there. The fact that Joe Burrow got that off was crazy. I'm sorry for the lack of commentary there. I was just like so distracted. And that looks to be a newcomer, Spanford. T. Higgins is still here. That's their tight end, new tight end. T. Higgins is still here. Um, the rest of the gang is still here. And Joe Mixon is still here and breaking tackles. Gain of 15 for Mixon on the play. He has superstar. Burrow has X Factor. Higgins has superstar. Chase has X Factor. Mix him with Juke, Box, and Balance Beam, so a decent set of abilities for him. First and ten, they're going to give it back to Mixon. And Montez Sweat making a good play, loss of two. We will take that. Love to see Montez Sweat getting involved. Probably not going to be in a lot of man coverage today, as obviously these corners are going to win against our young secondary. And speak of the devil, Emmanuel Forbes in... Zone coverage just doesn't even care that T. Higgins is running a curl route. He's just still going back there. We're going to bring a blitz here, though. No, we aren't. We're switching out of that. And good tackle by, I believe, Schmiel. That might have been Eiffler, though. Joe Mixon coming off of a decent week last week. Okay. This Bengals offensive line shouldn't be too good, so we should be able to get some pressure today. Alright, pretty heavy set here, and we're just missing tackles, and Joe Mixon is going to get into the end zone for a big touchdown. Tied ball game, we could have a shootout on our hands today. These are, well, I wouldn't call our offense high-powered, but after last week, we have the potential to be, and obviously, since he has playmakers and a quarterback, and not a great defense, so we have all the fixings of a... Shoot out here. Mario Williams with a good return gets out to the 24. Terry McLaurin on the season only 13 receptions, but uh, if you couldn't tell, the yardage is pretty, pretty freaking solid. Gonna get back to the ground game here with Gibson. Fantastic job there by John ba Josh Bates or whoever the fullback was taking on DJ Reader, not throwing a bad block. Gibson last week. Great day. Got to run the ball with him just a lot, which is something we love and haven't been able to do enough in this series. Gibson breaking a tackle. Picks up the first down. Would love to get him close to the 20 carry range again today. 
And obviously, any time he goes over 100 yards, good things happen. Jermaine Pratt has reach elite strip specialist. And wow, Logan Wilson fights through the block from the fullback. I thought we had enough of a block there that I could try and hit the edge, but that didn't work out. But that's all right. Still gained four. I'm fine with pounding the rock today. And Gibson gets flattened there. We'll go with a little bit of tempo. We've been running it a lot. So we're going to go play action. And Sam Howell misses the throw. Come on, man. He was so good last week, but a bad miss there. Looking for Michael True, guys. We'll punt it away. Now it's up to the defense to get a little bit of something going. All right. Going to try out Montez Sweat here off the edge. And there's just nobody in the flat. We miss with Forbes, as I just do not know how to tackle this game, clearly. Luke Cager with a decent long game there. Oh, no, 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 no. We're dropping back into zone coverage here. Oh, man. Okay, our, just our, whoever's our, uh, I can't talk. Our slot corner, especially it being Kendall Fuller there, you've got to get out of there faster, man. And I have no idea where our linebacker is going there. The middle linebacker was covering Mix it, or Boyd for a second, and then he just left. Because that's something we tell you guys to do. All right, Jamin Davis. Probably not going to try and press T. Higgins. As I give up the middle to Joe Mixon, Jonathan Allen meets him there. Only a gain of three. We'll take a lot more of that, please. Um, holding them to three here or less would be... Phenomenal. I pretty much got to use whoever the flat player is because just the flats do not work in this game. I don't know if it's because maybe Jamin Davis has a low zone coverage, but I mean, even Kendall Fuller is selling when he's in the flat, so. All right, I'm just going to move Forrest out there. Try to get some action with Smeal here. And that is just. Wow, that's uh, that's aired out a little bit. Goes out the back of the end zone for Burrow. All right. Obviously a pass here. We might lurk a little bit with Fuller. And Joe Burrow will just throw it away. We'll hold him to three. And we'll take that as a win. Maybe, I, like I don't know. I don't want to use her the slot like all the time. It's fun sometimes when I get the dope lurks. I love using the slot when I get the lurks, but sometimes it can just be some <coughs> excuse me. Sometimes it can just be so boring. I love return specialists because I like instantly break the first tackle. The only problem is uh, if we just don't get blocks. Gibson having a decent start to the season. Looking a lot better than last year, on the ground at least. And Gibson gets one there. We'll go with a little bit of tempo. Let's go to the stretch. And just, you've got to hold your block there, man. You've got to hold your block. And now we're in a third and long situation. Crap. Got a little bit of a mesh going on here. Mario, what? How does he drop that? He literally animated to catch it, and then he just stopped. Like, he goes down, and he has it, and then he just drops it, and gets back up. Okay, well, we're going to punt again. That's awesome. We have... <laughs> one completion besides the deep bomb to Terry, and that was a two-yarder. Jam and Davis is just getting bitched on by their tight end. Gain of six for the Bengals. All right, we got to watch Jamar Chase in the immediate right now, watching him on a curl. 
and just nobody is guarding Joe Mixon, and we don't want to tackle him either, and Joe Mixon's going to take it to the house as just, I don't know, man. I don't know if it's our pass defense reaction or if it's our tackling or what, but we just, it's, it's all of it. Actually, I do know what it is. It's just the fact that we don't play football well. <coughs> and it's not like we have terrible players on defense. Like, we have a decent defensive roster. And Mario Williams, we had a we had a hole for a second. He just doesn't feel like he has 95 speed. Wow, Gibson's stats are exactly the same, except for he has two more carries. It's going to be one of those games. All right, the Bengals have the momentum right now, so we got to just pick up some yards. Nice. That was, that was some great, great timing. Oh, they're in some trouble here. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Sam Howell. That's so bad. It's it's so freaking bad, man. That was horrible. That's a dime, though. Sam Howell makes up for it. That's a fucking laser beam into uh, Michael Trigg. Okay, thank you, Sam Howell. Thank you for that. You have a bad miss. You have the two bad misses, but you make up for it there. Gibson fights forward for six. All right, we're going to get it to Gibson out of the backfield. Oh, my gosh. Gibson just spun out three guys. Holy crap. Gibson with the triple spin move. Nastiest play of his career. Now we got a little RPO to Terry. It is Chidobe over there, though, so we got to be a little bit cautious of that. It don't matter. And Terry picks up a blocking at seven. Yeah, we need to run the RPOs to him and not Johnny Wilson's fat ass. I love Johnny Wilson, but <laughs> that was a rough one. The RPO we ran to him. All right. Might have... Okay, I, I just... Whew, I tensed up there. Okay, we're going to run Johnny Wilson inside. Okay, okay, there was there was some confusing stuff there. I didn't see the middle linebacker. I noticed the safety who was hiding in the end zone. That was, that was a rough one. I'm glad we got out of there without uh, any consequences. The handoff to the backup running back, Hemby. He gets it down to the one, or the two, gain the seven. And, oh, man, Jermaine Pratt with a great play there. Okay, fourth and goal. I say we go for it. And we're going to flip it to Gibson, and Gibson gets in for a touchdown, baby. Okay, okay. <laughs> definitely, definitely was a gutsy drive, but, hey, it ends in a score, so we'll take that. All right, Shmiel Mondon. I'm pinching because I okay, I was feeling a run, but it's not. Do we want to tackle him? And why did it switch me on to freaking Derek Forrest there? Why was I switched on to Forrest? That's weird. Something tells me this might be a pass. That's a terrible throw from Joe Burrow. Really his first bad one of the day. I'd like to see more of that, please. Alright. And T. Higgins is just wide open. Already inside of field goal range easily for the Bengals. Um, we need some pressure, please. And Chase Young's off the field. That's great. And Joe Burrow somehow gets it off there, even with Montez Sweat right in his face. Um, all right, we're going to drop back in some zone. I don't know why now we're going to um, 
freaking a four a four three. It's a pass. And we got clamps there. We forced Joe Burrow to throw it away. <coughs> Just survive one more down. All right, user Davis here. And no fumble there forced from Smeal. But we bring up a fourth and one. I'm going to take a timeout here. They're going for this. This is definitely interesting. And we stop him. Okay, that is huge. <coughs> they end off to Joe Mixon on fourth down and don't get it. Okay, we're we're in a we're in a decent position now. Would love to take advantage of the matchup having Terry off of Chidobe. We're just gonna check it down to Gibson. Stiff arms him and gets out of bounds, gain a six. Alright, five wide now. This is what I love. Just let me read cover two, three, or four. And that's the wrong read by me. I don't know. I just I always think I can get that ball over the linebacker's head and it just never happens. Alright, go to a little bit of mesh now here. Actually, I changed that up a little bit, though. We're going to send Johnny Wilson up the seat. And Sam Howell, what are you doing, man? I get he's under pressure, but that's a rough one. All right, we're going to punt it away and hope we don't give us give up points to the Bengals because we just made a big stop on them. And they're going to call pass interference on me because I was trying to get to the flat, and it wouldn't let me. Thankfully, it'll only go for five. So, okay. Also, if it was at five yards, it's legal. But this game wouldn't know that. Chase Young gets a sack, baby. That's what we're talking about. Chase Young's gotta get more going. Chase Young and Jonathan Allen need to start cooking up. All right, speaking of Jonathan Allen, looks like we have a run play coming here. And Joe Mixon is just chugging along today. Okay, um, third and 15. And we stuff it up sweet. All right, uh, they get ball to start the second half, so we just got to keep on locking up on defense and then get get some more stuff going on offense. Um, medium pass, yeah, we'll go with that. Okay, we've we've looked solid. I I'd, I'd say this these are the best six quarters of football we've played in this entire franchise back to back. So I will take that. Now it's just about putting together the next two and keeping it going from there. You know, we got to limit Joe Mixon. We got to, I think we're going to run a lot more 4-3 this half. <coughs> All right, Smeal Mondon coming up. And would love for Derek Forrest to make a play on the ball there, but only in a four, and we'll take that. And somehow I'm not there with Smeal Mondon. And somehow Joe Mixon's just going to outrun the entire team. I, I'm going to have nightmares about Joe Mixon. I just, I do not understand the angles in this game. Because, like, okay, I'm freaking close to that. But then the fact that Jartavius Martin misses like that. Okay. If I, why are two players diving at once? Because I switched on to Jamin Davis and made the tackle, and Emmanuel Forbes instantly dove too, and then Derek Forrest just stops running. We also have two number 22s on the play, which seems to be a pretty big problem for us this season. 
And now it's not even going to be a shootout. It's just going to be our offense having to play catch-up. And this is looking all too realistic. And uh, maybe that's why Sam Howell's been balling out, because uh, he finally realizes, oh, wait, this is like real life. My defense ain't going to do jack shit for me. Okay, I do not care about Antonio Gibson's stats, because they're almost the exact same. This game is... It's something, man. It's something. Okay, I just love the blocking from the fullback there. I just love that. That is great. We're going to go back to this. Gibson breaks a tackle. Bring it with a little play action boot here. Michael Trigg, just catch it and go down, baby. We'll take that. First down. Now let's try and run the ball a little bit more effectively. Keyword try. Oh, okay. Okay, Terry. Okay, Terry McLaurin. Okay, Antonio Gibson with the stiff arm. But also, Terry just taking on two guys right there and blocking them both pretty freaking well. And we, we had Michael Trigg open there. I just I figured that there was a middle linebacker on him. I just didn't read that. That is on me. Um, yikes. That was, okay, that was, that was bad by me. Um, I want to run this. It's just guaranteed yards. I know we have Terry and Press, but... When I, whenever I have that look on that run, I'm going to go to it. And this is free. I mean, this is pretty much free. All right, picking up another first down, tempo. If if they're not going to stop this, I'm not going to stop do doing this. And they're going to stop it now. So that's all right. DJ Reader goes down, though, which is going to help open up our run game some more. Okay, <clears throat> we'll go back to this alert play. He's moved, Chidobe's moved up a little bit. And we still probably had it there. Rodriguez Jr. with a nice run, though. Looking fresh. I would prefer that to be Hemby or Hembley, whatever his name is. But just like that, Antonio Gibson is back in. One play is all he needed. Gibson fighting gets down to the one. Punch it in, baby. Punch it in. Really? Okay. Okay. It's okay. And we get it to Gibson to the flat again, and once again he gets in. <coughs> Gibson's second receiving touchdown of the day. Sam Howell has three touchdowns. He's playing pretty well. He's not playing as good as he was last week, obviously. Um, but a performance like that is always hard to follow up. We're going to lurk here, or try. My linebackers just cannot move. Like, I just feel like the linebackers and safeties in this game do not react. And in the past, it's been like, sure, safeties haven't been great, but at least your linebackers would cover. And now that neither of them can cover, it just makes it so tough to play defense. Like, the safety should be aware when Jamar Chase cuts in. He shouldn't be going the opposite way. We're going to have to take a chance here. I would love to get a strip. Just any kind of turnover here would be a godsend. And just keep the ball out of fucking Joe Mixon's hands, man. I'm literally going to wake up screaming because of Joe Mixon. Okay, that tight end is crazy fast. Spanford. <laughs> Pretty sure that's the name of a school, buddy. Alright, Shmiel Mondon coming in on the blitz. Oh my gosh, Kool-Aid McCrinsky just made the play of his season. 
That is a amazing heads up play to be able to get the pick there. That is what you love to see. Alright, we're going to go to a mesh here. And we take the sack, because I'm stupid. Alright, we're going to go to the run now. Please block. We get a few yards, not enough though. <coughs> Alright, we're going four verticals it looks like. Okay, how I just It is still a fucking mystery to me how the fuck that is an interception. God, I cannot handle this game, man. I cannot handle this game. He had him beat. I touch fast it, or at least I attempted to touch fast it. Just Give me a fucking bone, man. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, I do not give a flying fuck about Antonio Gibson's stats. Lord. Alright. Just not much room for Gibson. He gets six, though. Going to an RPO here. Good run, Gibson. We'll go back to that. See if it's there this time. And what a block from Terry. Although, <laughs> Johnny Wilson's slow ass cannot turn up field. But hey, we'll take that. We get nine. Alright, end of the quarter. That's I. That's not what I tried to do. I accidentally double tapped the stupid button, man. Okay, I should be able to redo a play there, because like no, you guys have to believe I double tapped there, right? Like, I I know I'm bad, but I'm not making that read bad. Also, just a terrible throw, because this game is dog shit. Okay, we got the turnover on blitzing there. Let's just try for that again. That pisses me off. That's too. Two picks in a row that really aren't my fault or Sam Howell's fault. Okay, blitzing seems to be the way to go. Getting getting pressure on Burrow. He's making mistakes right now. I right, smell Mondon. Okay, Joe Mixon is just a fucking animal. He's just pushing that pile, man. Okay. I'm fine sitting back in some zone this this play. I'm just gonna try and lurk since I know the play. Picked off Forbes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I need to remember to do that more because they've gone to that play so many times. Okay, we're matching interceptions at this point, so it's not as pretty, but we're, we're keeping us in the game. And I'll, if we throw two picks with Sam Howell and neither of them were deserving and the, he plays a solid besides that, I'm fine with that. Oh, yeah. Screen to Gibson. That's awesome. I was just like, we need something short that gets us a lot of yards. And this should be a good play for us. Okay, should, the fact that Shadobe almost made that play is insane. I mean, he did make the play. I don't know why I'm saying almost. He did make that play. That is absolutely wild. Terry absolutely cooking on the whip route. <coughs> Big play, Terry McLaurin. I think that's only his second catch of the day, which isn't isn't good. But hey, he's making big plays. That's his third catch of the day. Mario Williams stays on his feet after the catch and gets big yardage. That's what we want to see. I've not been able to get him the ball enough, and that needs to change. I also haven't been able to get Johnny Wilson the ball as much recently. At least he had the good start to the season. 
And we just can't get out of there. Crosser probably looking Terry here. And Terry is literally uncovered. Get into the end zone, Terry McLaurin. Best receiver in the league, man. He is fucking nasty. Holy shit. And it's a three-point ball game, baby. And this second half, we've seen Joe Burrow get flustered when he's been rushed. So we're going to keep on sending the bliss at him. And that was almost another pick. Okay, we're finding a recipe for success, and we're making good adjustments, and that's what I like. And we're, we're playing a smart football game right now. And that's on me. And Tyler Boyd with the catch after run. That's, damn, I was just slow, because I just, he was going to throw the slant if I didn't do that, and I should have just, I should have just done my actual coverage and, Hoped that the game would be quality for once. And Jammin' Davis absolutely just demolishes him. I feel like I feel like that's how I get like 40% of my sacks in this series. Just linebacker blitzes. But hey, if it works, it works. Good tackle, Schmiel, I believe. Bringing up a third and 11. All right, we're hardcore keying in on Jamar Chase here. And we just, we don't fucking cover the tight end. Jamin Davis, what the fuck is your incompetent ass doing? He is a dog shit, bro. Okay, good chase down McCrinsky. McCrinsky has had a crazy good game against Jamar Chase. And I am totally here for it. Okay, I'm playing the flat. Okay, Joe Mixon just bitched on Kendall Fuller. Joe Mixon is a menace. Joe Mixon needs to be... I don't even know, man. Like, it's respectable, and I'm also a huge Joe Mixon fan. I just wish he could get fed like this in real life, man. Okay, Joe Burrow making that throw is absolute... Just... That is wild, man. That is insane. Now, okay, I don't like listening from the Tiki formation. We're going man, I should I should specify. Jonathan Allen, big play, baby. We've been keying in on the run this second half. Well, not even keying in on the run. We've just been stopping the run this second half. That's the two-minute warning. If we get a stop here, we are in business, baby. We hold him to three or get a stop. And Jonathan Allen is just a one-man wrecking crew up front. We're going to take the time out here. All right. We're going to take our time out to give us as much time as possible. And, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. All right, McPherson knocks it through. They're up by six. Um, we got a minute and 51 seconds to get down the field. We got one timeout remaining. Got to score a touchdown to win. <coughs> no way to tie, realistically. All right. We get it to the 22. Gibson having a damn good day. Okay. Start with the five wide. Johnny Wilson wide open. Big yardage for the big fella. And he goes down. 
Great. Okay, so now we're out of timeouts. Troy Franklin checks into the game. He's also 22. And Troy Franklin somehow making a damn good play there. Um, did he run his route? No. They're reviewing that? That was a catch every day of the week, baby. High ankle sprain for Johnny Wilson. That's rough. Okay, Terry, I'm just... I just want you to win us this game, man. And they might, too. Oh, Terry, okay, I had a chance off the deflection. <coughs> if they press him again, though, I know I know to lead it outside this time. They're not going to go with the press this time. Michael Trigg wide open, and there should be a roughing the passer. We are cooking right now, people. We are cooking. As long as that's a rough... Yep, that's a roughing the passer. Sam Howell waited a liver in a huge moment while getting absolutely demolished. Are right, we going to run it here because we got time? That didn't work out well, but that's all right. Hurry up. And Mario Williams gets into the end zone. That's a tutty, baby. Okay, we might not have used enough time. Okay, we got to keep him out of field goal range. But we gave Joe Burrow too long. Oh, crap. Okay, this is going to be a rough one. That's so bad. That is so astronomically bad. They're already down to the 45. Okay, we got to play up coverage. Um, okay, can we go to that... Yeah, I want this coverage. There we go. Okay, that's a huge play. That is a huge play for Kendall Fuller. And just once again, the middle of the field is wide the fuck open. Okay, we have to. We're counting on poor clock management from them here, and they take the timeout. Fuck. Why isn't it iced? Why isn't it iced? Why isn't the kick iced? This is. Oh my god. The, this fucking game. Okay, we don't cover. Period. We don't cover. We make huge plays, and we get fucked over in the end because the kick isn't iced. Okay, we're going to have a Hail Mary chance. Okay. I know what I'm doing here, trust me. Oh my god. Terry McLaurin. Terry McLaurin. Terry McLaurin. Oh my god. We just left him one on one and he just won us the fucking game. I need to see a replay of that. He's playing in off coverage. We block everybody except for our best player. Um, I'm struggling right now. 
and Terry McLaurin just runs in a straight line by him, catches it on the on the 15. What a bomb from Sam Howell. And then outruns Shadobe Awuze to get into the end zone. That is the greatest ending of all time. Sam Howell puts on an absolute show. Six touchdowns for the second week in a row. Yeah, sure, he had two picks. Who cares? Gibson, another great game. Hembley and Rodriguez both with good runs. Uh, McLaurin, yeah, 40 yards of reception. He's a fucking dog. Antonio Gibson, two touchdowns. Williams got the touchdown. Trigg and Wilson both with admiral and admirable games. Jonathan Allen, two TFLs. Chase Young and Jamin Davis with a sack. Emmanuel Forbes and Kool-Aid with the clutch picks. The kick return, Mario Williams, 7 for 142. That's, <laughs> that's the craziest ending ever. It, it it has to be. That is an insane ending. Wow, okay, we got player upgrades and then and that'll be it. Holy shit. Terry McLaurin, yeah. Yeah, get get this man an upgrade. We're gonna go physical for him. As he is just a dog. Twenty eight years old. With with the rate he's been playing in this franchise, he's going to be a Hall of Famer. Probably first ballot. A slot upgrade for Mr. McCrinsky. Getting him up to 84 overall. It's a jumping man coverage and press. be a lot of fun to be able to run some man coverage, more like legit man coverage with this team soon. Gibson keep on going to elusive back until he hits the 85 overall. It's a juke move and spin move. He's decent. He's getting there. He's getting better. Forbes with a uh, upgrade. Uh, nope, I didn't want a zone upgrade. Well, that's all right. It'll balance him out a little bit more. He has decent man. His his coverage is definitely aren't as good. Okay, Shmuel Mondam. We're gonna go field general just because it's the best, pretty much. And he's decent. I would lo would love to be able to actually like use him more, but that's just a little bit of a tough. A tough one. We're going to go physical for Johnny Wilson because that's what he is. He's a physical demon. A decent decent upgrade for him as he does not carry an injury designation after the game, which is huge. Playmaker for Mario Williams. And get some break tackle and all that stuff along with some route running and catching. Awesome. So we'll just auto upgrade the rest of the guys. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.